Hello and welcome to this tutorial on nested recycler view and diffuse. Are you the one who is struggling to display complex lists with multiple levels of nesting in your Android app? Have you ever experienced low scrolling or laggy updates when dealing with large data sets? Well, fear no more. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use nested recycler view and diffuse tool to optimize your app performance and provide a seamless user experience. Now, grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's dive into the world of efficient Android development. So here you can see we have a chat list and the recycler view and the adapter set on the recycler view and layout line manager which is linear layout manager so you can see the red line because i haven't uh, invented the adapter yet this is the image chat layout this is the text chat layout this is the activity nested recycler view diffusal chat layout class now going to implement the adapter by extending the recycler view dot adapter and passing the item list in the construct and implementing the three members of that adapter class so that's basically these are the three and the one other, another which is uh, the get item view type inside that we are going to take out the uh, type of the item which is in the item list and the type is basically one and zero so for zero we are going to basically creating the two variables item type text and image for zero and one if you have certain other types of text basically in the layout then you have to put this other basically the numbers again and again and again if zero then return type text uh, otherwise image and uh, in the else case we also need to put the uh, minus one there because uh, if there is nothing then we should return the minus one and now we are going to create two classes which is the view holder class a text chat view holder and image chat view holder and according to the type of the chat we are going to return the particular type of chat view holder a text or image and in the default one i'm going to return the text chat view holder you can have the some uh, default chat view holder also like uh, the error or failure message so get item count return the item list size and then we are going to we created the inflator here for inflating the text chat layout for the chat view holder and I image chat layout for the image type chat basically and here also we need to def pass, uh, return the default as I already told you uh, I'm gonna pass return the text chat view holder so that's it and now we need to bind the data so for a particular type of the data item we are going to call the particular type of holder and bind the data to that particular chat view holder and for that we need to initialize some things inside the particular chat type of chat view holder so for for item text type text we are going to call the whole two types item type text item type image and uh, for calling the a holder as text chat view holder and then but inside that text chat view holder we have some views and that views i'm gonna set the uh, item so that uh, you, as you can see i already implement uh, and slice those views so dot text view in on which the type uh, content basically the string uh, the message i have the timestamp so text at the text of timestamp to that particular time stamp chat view and uh, exactly like that you just need to put that image chat view holder and uh, i as i ran the app you can see the screen hello there then uh, timestamp then image then uh, timestamp then again chat then timestamp so that's how basically the things work and now i'm gonna show you why we need chat diff util to overcome the performance uh, issue in the recycler view so for that i'm gonna create a new chat list variable of by using the duplicate uh, previous content so i'm gonna here i created a duplicate chat list now i'm gonna add the one uh, create a one chat and add that chat to the new duplicated list basically so now they uh, we have two chats list one with the uh, old uh, seven chat sets i guess seven eight items and uh, another one is just uh, one more than the previous one so that's how we create the new and old uh, basically the updated chat list so now uh here i'm gonna uh, add the uh chat item inside uh, in this new chat list and now we need to set the data and for the set in the data we need to create a set data function inside the adapter class and call the notified data set change method which uh, tells the adapter to update the items in the recycler view so here we need to pass the list of the array list of type array list of type uh, model class and and then simply we need to set the uh, item list of this particular adapter class to the new list we passed uh, in the asset data function and now just you need to uh, notify data set change call need to call the chin of try this uh, and uh, now we need to set the data and uh, pass the new chat list so and uh, i'm gonna actually uh, keep this uh, adapter dot set data function inside the uh but click listener but before that i'm gonna set the debugger points so whenever the we uh, click the basically click the text view nested recyclable view util uh, the adopted set data and the 
debugger is on if then it stops the particular at the particular point where the uh, where which function is going to uh, executed uh, then now you can see here uh, i'm gonna you can see the text uh, chats basically now if i click on the, uh, i uh, yeah started the deb uh, i need to add the debugger here so you can add the debugger like that now click on this and you can see uh, let's click on this yeah, let's click now you can see we are on the on bind view holder function now you can see the position is two because the chat uh, at the position two of the item list is going is uh, on the top of the screen and user is interacting to that particular type of uh, particular chat basically that's why it is on the position two now position three and uh, if you pass this again and again again and again, you can see it uh, actually actually uh, bind the data to the particular views okay so now if it is the seventh position which is the new chat basically we have and now you can see we have sub sub subscribe like some type chat here now what happen if we use chat diff util so that for that we need to implement chat diff util class so, okay let's so uh, i'm uh, for first clean the debugger and now chat diff util and inside this chat diff, diff util basically uh, parameters we need to pass two list old list and new list both and then it uh, extends the diff util dot callback and implement these members and inside this members we have get old list size get new list size and pass the simply the size of those list which we pass in the parameter and then check if the items are the same so if item old list at uh, old item position is equals to the new list at new item position then it is not a difference okay so and uh, in our content the same you can just check the uh, content also like uh, if you the chat message is uh, different in the particular object then uh, means if two objects are same but the uh, text is different of the chat then it also uh, modify the data by using that differentiation so that's how basically it uh, works and uh, our, uh, here i'm i don't have any differentiation in the chat so i just uh, return it by the items we have so yeah simply equals to a new list a uh, new item position so yeah new item position that's it now we need to create a object of chat diff util uh, which i created here chat diff util and uh, pass the new chat list and old chat list and uh, then we have chat diff result here diff util dot calculate diff and inside that we need to pass the chat diff util object and then chat diff util dot dispatch of stage to particular and reference for that we need to have uh, adapter so now you need to clear the old chat list and uh, update that particular chat list with the new items which is new chat list so now we have uh, uh, everything now if i run this app and show you how it uh, changes the performance how it uh, effects on the performance of the recycler view let's run this app cut from this here and just paste it inside the set on click list then now rerun the app basically and uh, now you can see uh, added the adapter and uh, sorry debugger here and now if i click on the button so now you can see on by our item the same so you, you can also check here the items are same uh, at every position actually and um, there's nothing and exact uh, except one item which is not uh, same there so at the last item basically so the last item is basically added to the list so that's why it is gonna uh, create a new like that on create view holder create a new view holder for that particular item and then on bind view holder uh, it's it binds the data to that particular new view holder and now add it to the uh, screen you can see so in chat diff util it just created a one more chat view holder and then binds the data to that and uh, in previously you uh, saw that it binds the uh, data to the new views again for the new chat basically and so that that is basically time consuming and uh, uh, performance issue uh, comes when the list is too big if list is too big then it uh, creates an issue and uh, now if uh, and yeah that's it for this video actually this is uh, how we can improve the performance of the recycler view with the chat if you still class and uh, you can show the nested recycler view also it is exactly like that using that code and yeah that's it for this video if you like this video click like button if you have anything to say then comment it below subscribe the channel press the bell icon see you in the next one bye bye